This video is dedicated to my very own personal FBI agent. I'm Phil, and this is the Minuteman Moment, but you already knew that. Guys, the ATF is going door to door for solvent traps now. Get this, GOA has obtained this footage from John Crump of Ammo Land News, which clearly shows a man being raided by the ATF who attempted to confiscate his solvent trap. Hey, sir, how are you? Good. Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? Hey, with the ATF. Okay. I'm here about a solvent trap that you ordered. Okay. Do you still have it? I'm not going to answer any questions. Okay. Um, well, we're actually here to recover them because they're being used as suppressors. Do you have a warrant? I don't have a warrant. If you okay. let me finish, I can talk to you. Okay. Yep. They're being used as suppressors. Now, we're just here to pick them up. If you don't have it, you can sign that you don't have it anymore. I'm not going to sign anything. Okay, don't sign anything. So what will happen is if you're caught with it, we'll prosecute you federally. Sure. For an NFA item. Okay. Sure. Um, you're obviously going to be on the radar now. I appreciate all the cooperation. We just came to pick it up and have it destroyed. Um, but since you're being such a polite person, I mean, we'll leave it at that. That we, we know what you're using it for, correct? I mean, you bought a no, jig with it for your AR-15. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. So this isn't the first want, time we've done this. If you want to come back with a warrant? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do that. Okay. Absolutely. Can you hand out your pocket for me, please? I'm sorry. Can you hand out your pocket for me? You're on my property. I can put my hands where I want. All right. We're law enforcement. We're talking to you in an official capacity. So you're on my I property. Your in your pocket. So. We're, right. not, we're not trying to be be jerks here. You are though. You're you're, well, we're you're, you're not. the we're ATF. Not. I mean, we're the ATF. Come we're on. idiots. No. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Oh. I said that? you're the ATF. Correct. All, your entire job is to take away people's guns. I don't think you have any people. idea what our job. I know is, everything actually. about your job. Oh, All please it is, tell is to me. erode this, the Second Amendment. Okay. Shall not be infringed. So violent uh, criminals with guns that we take off the street. That's, oh, like oh. at Waco, like oh. at Ruby Ridge. Oh my gosh. My Bro, dogs? You need to quit. And you keep right. my dogs you in the house. You need to quit reading so many books. Give me a break. I, yeah, it's, it's You're watching books. too many shows. Okay. And yeah, that's too many it. Books. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm sure we'll find you again someday. No, you won't. Um, yeah. Anyway, have a good one. Yeah, I you appreciate too. the cooperation. Take it easy. Yes, sir. Watch out for the dogs, guys. <laughs> Just another day, another time for ATF agents to get caught on camera trying to infringe on our rights. And if you remember from the frame and receiver final rule that I've talked about a thousand times, there was a question on whether or not solvent traps were still legal. In the past, the ATF has sent approval letters stating that these solvent traps are legal items that could be converted into suppressors with a Form 1. Now, people are confused on whether or not that's still the case. That's why we mentioned specifically in our response brief that the ATF has created some sort of limbo space for these unmanufactured items, where they are both unlawful and unregistered silencers, as the ATF agents are claiming in the video we just watched, and also can be used lawfully to make and register silencers. This is just another reason we're suing the ATF over this unconstitutional rule, as GOA's lawsuit is the only lawsuit that challenges every aspect of the frame and receiver rule, including and especially the solvent trap question. The only thing you should ever say to an ATF agent is, do you have a warrant? And we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this kind of stuff from this administration, and if we're not careful, future administrations. Anyway, that's it for this time. I'll see you soon.